Hi everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this quick and easy simple card and I really mean that. For this card you will need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored and folded in half and burnished. Um, a piece of smoky slate at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, a piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters, and a piece of white for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. So, I should put, oh no, I've got a stamp on that, and I've got a stamp on that. Right, the stamp set we're using is this very vintage stamp set, and all we're using is this flowery viney thing and that is for the inside the top and the bottom the image for behind this image and the happy birthday which we've all got mounted the butterfly actually comes off the free paper it's called botanical butterflies designer series paper that you get with celebration and you get colored butterflies you get this and every other side is black and white so you've got a checkered one or gingham and then on the back of that you've got spots you've got this purpley color with flowers on it and that is actually Highland Heather and then you've got black with white butterflies and you've got the reverse of that in colour on the back of that is the black and white butterflies which I shall bring out one sheet you get two of each sheets on this one you've obviously got coloured butterflies again with stripes some foliage and then black and white butterflies on the back I yeah like I said you get two of each sheet so that's 12 sheets of designer series paper which you can get free when you spend 45 pound or more on in the uh, annual or occasional catalogue and you can get that free from the celebration. With the other six pages, I've cut it down to six by four. And out of all the bits I've got, I've not got one whole butterfly left. That was the only sheet I had a whole butterfly. So I am going to have to chop into a. I'm going to have that one. Because that's the same as that one. Yeah, I'm going to cut out that one. So to do that, get my scissors and chop it out. And then just cut it out. Try not to leave any white on the edge. If I do, I'll show you a little trick that I learned off of Jam B actually. Watching one of her videos, oh, yonks and yonks ago. And she's like me, not liking white bits when you're cutting close so 
So, put that in the bin. Right, with your black marker pen and the brush end, if you turn your butterfly over and just run round the edge with your butter with your pen, but you've got to make sure it's the back of the butterfly is facing you because then if you do slip like I've done there it's gone on the back and not on the front of the butterfly and that gives it just a nicer finish so We'll keep that to one side. So we'll do our stamping with that. And then, right, so I don't get mixed up. This one's the front. We're going to use Smoky Slate ink. And with the image from very vintage ink it up and we're gonna just stamp it there oh it's come out dark I never stamped off <coughs> grab a bit of paper stamp off and then stamp down That's better. Stamp off. Turn the stamp round. Stamp down. I think I've come down too low. That's right, I'll put happy birthday at the top. Clean the stamp off. Turn it round, that's a good thing. Right, with happy birthday. And pray it straight. There we are. That's the front. Done. Now for the inside. You need your scrap of paper again to stamp off and stamp down. There we have. That is our stamping done. All we've got to do now is put it together. So, my glue. Do the inside first. I know a lot of you think that me putting a white piece of card on the inside to waste. Well, to me it's not. Because it balances the card out. Because you have all the weight on the front of the card and nothing on the back of the card and it will keep falling over when it's being displayed. So putting a piece of card on the inside just helps balance it out. Well, I think so anyway. You don't have to if you don't want to. And there we have 
our card put back together. Right, with our butterfly, let me just cut this letter. All I'm doing is just folding up the wings, putting my thumb on the body, and that will give us an area to glue. And I just stick that in the middle. And I forgot something else. Hopefully straight. Yeah, he's straight. Right, I have got this reel of um, foam tape. It's very thin. So what I do is cut a very thin bit of it and two tiny squares, stick this back on there and stick this near the middle. Stick that down and it stops the butterfly from being flattened in the post. Because it's very thin dimensional tape, it won't make much difference to the postage. So, and that, and then all we have to do is add some gems down its body. And eat this. I think I put five down it. one on his head and I shouldn't have one on his head. That's it. And there you are. So that is today's card. Quick and easy card. I think it looks quite nice. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the notification button next to it. And you'll be notified every time I upload a video, which is Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And all I can say is thank you for visiting. And hope to see you again soon. Bye.